Hello everyone and welcome back to Cool Gadgets. Today we'll be reviewing X-Ring, the AI smart ring that puts health data in the palm of your hand. I'm Shannon and today I'm going to be seeing if the X-Ring is as smart as they say, so let's get into it. So to talk briefly about what X-Ring does, you can think of it as almost like the health management of an Apple Watch with a much stronger battery and a smaller, more convenient package that fits right on your finger. So just wear the ring on your finger and it'll track your heart rate, sleep patterns, temperature, all that stuff. Then it'll give you the health and wellness guidance with the power of AI and big data. X-Ring also doubles as a one-tap way to control whatever smart device is paired with it. And it comes with its own handy app. This all comes in a sleek package and a matte black color scheme. Getting started with your device is super simple. The app Exerchain is already uploaded to the App Store. And type in Exerchain. Search and it's right there and ready to go. Now let's take a closer look at the app. After all, when you're looking at a smart device, the UX and UI of the app is just as important, if not more so than the actual wearable device. So when you launch the app and make an account at first, it's gonna ask you a few questions just to get a sense of what your fitness goals are and what your body is like. So let's go ahead and take a look at what that looks like. So the first question, how often do you exercise each week? Uh, which kind of sports activities or exercise do you typically like? And then it gets into your favorite foods, nutrition, all the things. <laughs> Okay, so then a couple of different, uh, just statistic information. Okay, and this part's pretty cool. Let us know your wellness goal. So there's a couple different options here. You can focus on things like exercise, nutrition, sleep, or maybe something different is your fitness goal. For me, I'm gonna be looking into exercise. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna ask a question or type a specific goal. For me, let's look about uh, how to weight lift for beginners. So if you're somebody that's just kind of starting out and trying to figure out uh, your weightlifting style, things that you can and can't do, this might be a good question. Okay, and now we're paired and we're ready to get going. So we've just arrived at the home screen and there's an AI report here in the center that has my exercise goals right in view. The AI here is really cool because it helps me not only set goals, but it also checks that I've been doing the exercises. It tells you how the intensity and how long you should be doing each exercise. It even sends out notifications to make sure that you don't forget. And do you guys remember that wellness goal question that I asked earlier? Well, you can do it anytime, change the question if you need to but there's even a separate tab for it. So the My Wellness Goal, you can tap right here and check for Ask Exercise Chain AI. How to weightlift for beginners was my initial question, so let's see what it has to say. Wow, okay, so this is a very detailed explanation in several different areas. So you can, of course, check by category, but it gives you the cause, it gives you advice, and it even gives you a detailed routine and about time, how long you should be doing it, you can set a timer. Uh, there's a lot of different options here, and the questions are endless. All right, let's see how it really works when I'm exercising. I did some cycling and let's see what our data looks like at rest. It's tracking my data in real time. You can see my heart rate here, as well as some other interesting things. And then I did some running around my place for a bit just to see if it's picking up on those changes. It's showing my increased heart rate and it started recording my exercise data. Over here is the real-time heart rate and it's also showing me a custom exercise plan to get the most out of my heart rate zones, which is something that the AI automatically figures out for you. This is super helpful if you're trying to lose weight because it gives you the best way to do so based on your own heart rate. There are also daily missions that are checked off once you complete the exercise goal for the day, right here in the center to keep you on track. What's cool is that you can only complete these missions when X-Ring detects your heart rate and what exercise zone that you're in. But that's not all the data that you're getting. Sleep and your total energy expended are also tracked all throughout the day. And this data fuels all sorts of AI recommendations for your exercise, sleep, and your general wellness. You can see there's a bunch of different options here to take a look at. 
Keep in mind that as you use X-Ring, it gets more information about you and you can provide even smarter analysis with the use of Big Data AI. Finally, let's test out how the one-touch control works with my phone. I have my camera app open here and we're prepared with the X-Ring, so tapping on the ring should take a picture. Let's give it a shot. Yep, we got one. Let's do another selfie. <laughs> just like that, didn't even need my other hand. So as you can see, it is working just fine. Let's try controlling my music app now. So with the same function, you can just tap to pause. Pretty easy, right? But there's another cool feature where you can actually swipe to change the song. So now we've tried out X-Ring for a few days and we have a good amount of data to compare over time. You can actually see it here on the graphs, how many heart rate and all of your vitals were tracked throughout the last few days. So you're just gonna click exercise here and you can see over the last week and here's your statistics. The AI here has the recommendations for my fitness routine based on the activity that was already recorded as well. So it learns your patterns. So what did I think? Well, overall, I really enjoyed using X-Ring. The bulk and form factor are just right for a wearable device. And it's waterproof with a rating of IP68, so it can actually be fully submerged in water. That means you're free to leave it on for accurate readings for the whole day. And one other thing I want to mention is just how good the AI works with this product. The questions you answer at the start, combined with the biometric data tracked by X-Ring, came together for a really helpful suggestion on how to effectively plan workouts. X-Ring even gave me recommendations on how to maximize my sleep time and change my workout routine all while holding me accountable to the app's exercise plans. And I would add though that like any wearable, there might be some sizing issues, especially when you're exercising and sweat is involved. The demo size that we got is just a bit too big for me, so make sure you're using a sizing kit to get the right X-Ring for you. But yeah, overall, I'm quite satisfied with my experience and I would recommend X-Ring to anyone who's looking for an affordable, yet high-tech fitness and lifestyle wearable. All right, so that was X-Ring, and you can find the link to their Kickstarter page in the description down below. As always, you guys, don't forget to like and subscribe, and until next time, I'm Shannon, signing off.